Hey guys, and welcome to the first evolution tutorial. In this video, we are going to be telling you how to create an auto presale. There are many other sale types, and I'll briefly mention any differences when creating the sale. So, to start, go to the Create tab, and then click on the sale type you want. For this, we'll be using presales. Next, you have to enter in your token address. If you don't have a token, you can create one here. You'll then see the sale type options manual and auto, as well as the three below here. For this, we'll just be using auto, but you can read about them all in our Git book. After that, you'll have to fill out all of these details. What DEX version you will list on, what token you are raising in, and what happens to unsold tokens. The presale rate and the DEX rate decides the price. However, on other sale types, you may have to enter in the amount of tokens for the sale instead. The DEX liquidity is how much of the raise goes towards the liquidity. Minimum amount of time you have to lock liquidity for is seven days. The liquidity and DEX settings are not used on sales without a liquidity lock. The soft cap is the minimum needed to raise and the hard cap is the maximum you can raise, but the hard cap is optional on sales like fair launches and hyper launches. Next, you need to set the minimum and maximum buy, which is also optional on certain sale types. Finally, in this section, you will have the option of setting the timers, which can also be set at a later date instead. In the next section, you'll need to pick whether it will be a public or whitelisted sale. You'll also need to choose whether your project will have referrals, bonuses, vesting, and a buyback system. Buybacks are not available on sales without a liquidity lock. In this section, you'll need to fill out the information about your project, as well as the graphics and social links. Finally, you'll need to click Create and confirm the transaction. And that's how you create an auto presale on Gempad. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.